Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. I'm the Goose. Glad to have you back. And yeah, we're uh, on board with the boxing train. Uh, as you know, we've uh, talked uh, about a couple of potential uh, opponents for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, those, are, of course, are the uh, two, uh, the other two welterweight title holders. Uh, you know, Terence Crawford and um, Errol Spence Jr. And now we're going to talk about another fight. Uh, but before we do, got to have our medicine, right? Uh, this is legal still. Uh, although it's uh, the strength may be illegal in some states, you never know. My coffee is, you know, very strong, just like my opinion. Got some creamer in there to make it sweet, just like me. And yes, there is coffee in there this time. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. Now we're going to talk about something that is, you know, the words, uh, they don't escape me. There's just too many words to describe the possibility of this fight happening and the uh, impossibility, is that a word, of uh, Manny Pacquiao winning this fight. And that, of course, is the uh, mythical matchup between Manny Pacquiao and uh, the middleweight champion, Triple G. Now, who is Triple G? First of all, we hear the name, but uh, uh, I don't think uh, hardly any of us know his real name. His uh, real name is Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin. Okay, Triple G. Who is he? Where is he from? What's this guy all about? Well, he's from Kazakhstan, which is uh, formerly in the Soviet Union. Okay. Uh, Golovkin is uh, 38 years old. That surprised me. I didn't realize he was that old. So, so much for the age factor in this potential fight. He is a middleweight. He's 5'10", 159 pounds. Uh, he's orthodox, meaning he's right hand. And sorry about that. I, uh, I messed up on that. Uh, 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 Errol Spence Jr. Um, uh, fight, uh, potential fight. Yeah, he's a lefty. I get it. Okay. We all make mistakes. Uh, but uh, Golovkin is a right-hander. And he is, forgive my French, he's a badass. And he is the real deal in every sense of the word. He has fought 42 times. He's lost once and uh, fought another uh, bout to a draw. Uh, and of those 40 wins, 35 KOs. He is maybe the scariest fighter on the planet. Uh, no joke there. Triple G is a frightening opponent. Uh, now let's talk about his his two uh, the two fights that he didn't win. Uh, the first one, uh, same opponent by the way, uh, Canelo Alvarez, the great uh, Mexican fighter. Now Alvarez is, is is of course a great fighter, but he's uh, you know, he has his faults like all of us do. Uh, during the first fight against Golovkin, uh, come on. If you watched that fight, and I did, Triple G won that fight. There is no question about it. And it, uh, again, it boils down to one of the fighters or one of the judges, uh, being a little corrupt. Uh, you know, anybody who watched that fight who is not, uh, a fanboy of, uh, of, um, Alvarez agrees that Triple G won that fight. So uh, that went uh, down as a draw, okay? The second time they fought, uh, ironically, shortly before the fight, Alvarez was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Uh, yeah, he was caught injecting a banned substance. And, uh, you know, boxing's a dirty game, as we know. We've seen that in many cases. But they went ahead and fought anyhow. And this time, Alvarez beat him. But again, if you watch the fight, there's no way. Triple G won both of those bouts. I'm sorry. But, hey, you just got to take the, uh, uh, you know, the good with the bad. So, uh, again, uh, let's talk about Triple G and what, what is he all about. He is, again, from Kazakhstan. And that's, that's uh, uh, very important to remember because uh, just like Mexican fighters, they're all very skilled, very tough. Uh, uh, they have uh, all the necessary skills and they don't go down easy. They don't, they don't quit. Same thing with uh, Eastern European fighters. They're all tough. The, the Klitschko brothers, yeah, uh, they're all tough, and they all uh, have the uh, the uh, necessary skills. They uh, are all uh, uh, very, very skilled. Now, with Triple G, if you've ever watched one of his fights, he's just scary. Even if you're not in the fight, you're not even, it's a tape. He's scary. He's uh, very methodical. In other words, he's not going to throw any surprises at you. 
He's coming at you. He's relentless. He's uh, uh, very. Uh, uh, he's tough, and he's uh, he's got the confidence in his game, and he's going to intimidate you, and he's going to put the pressure on, and he's going to keep the pressure on. And he's not only has he never lost, not really. Okay, okay, the one fight. He's never been knocked out and never been knocked down in his entire career. Uh, his uh, his resume is, uh, aside from Andy Pacquiao, unmatched. He's fought everybody, anybody and everybody, and he's beaten up everybody, including Canelo Alvarez. There's only one bout that uh, Triple G was involved in that was that showed he is human and he is beatable. And, of course, it was a win. That was against Kel Brook, the British fighter. Kel Brook is uh, a great, great fighter. And he was actually winning the fight against Triple G when his corner tossed in the towel. Why did they do that? Because I think it was the second or third round, Triple G got a clean punch in and broke his orbital bone around his eye. Same thing, you know, with Pacquiao and uh, um, uh, um, the, uh, see, I always mess up with this guy's name again. Margarito, Antonio Margarito. Uh, so, but Kel Burke kept fighting, just like Margarito did. Tough, tough fighter. Uh, and uh, his his corner threw in the, the towel in the fifth round, even though Kel Burke was winning that fight. So, Triple G can be beat. There's no doubt. He's human. They can all be beat. Now, why is a fight, not even talking about a win over Triple G, why is a fight between Pacquiao and Triple G just almost unbelievable to even consider? Well, it would be the ninth, ninth different weight class that Pacquiao would uh, challenge for a title. Pacquiao, let me remind you, for those of you who don't know or choose not to know, uh, the only other fighters, there's only been, I think, two other fighters who have had titles in five different weight divisions. That's, that's amazing. Five different weight divisions. Uh, Pacquiao has done it in eight. That's unheard of. It's not even human. How does this guy do it? Not only has he done it, but Pacquiao has sent people to the hospital and made him retire. Now, again, we've been through this before. If you follow Pacquiao's career, we've been through this many times. I'll give you a few examples. Pacquiao is going to fight, uh, well, his first uh, uh, unveiling of Pacquiao on the American stage against Ledwaba, he was a stand-in. He replaced somebody. Ledwaba's going to beat him up. Come on, who is this kid from the Philippines? Pacquiao beat the snot out of him. Well, that wasn't the last time. Uh, the great Barrera, the great uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, Eric Morales, Pacquiao beat all of them. Yes, he lost once to uh, Marquez and once to Morales, but he beat both those guys twice afterward or before. So, uh, And then Oscar De La Hoya, the real big fight uh, that uh, most of us remember. What did they say before that fight? Even members of Pacquiao's own camp said, Manny, you can't do this. De La Hoya is a, he's a, a Hall of Famer. He's a tough guy. He's, he's a brawler. He'll, he'll kill you. He'll knock you out and make you look bad. Well, what happened? Pacquiao sent him to the hospital, made him quit on a stool, and made him retire. That's what Pacquiao did to the guy who was going to embarrass him. Did, was that the last time? No, it kept happening. Uh, he fought again uh, Miguel Cotto. Well, Cotto, he's tough Puerto Rican fighter. There's no way Pacquiao will be well, made TKO for Pacquiao again. Uh, Antonio Margarito. And this is the one that's similar. The, the best example I can give you. Similar uh size strength skills as triple g and that's antonio margarito margarito outweighed him by uh, the you know of course they had similar uh uh weight on the weigh-in the night before the fight but the night of the fight margarito outweighed him by 20 some pounds he was uh, and he was probably four inches maybe five inches taller than him he's a monster uh margarito will kill him well you know pacquiao made him retire broke the uh, orbital bone in his, in his eye and embarrassed him. So we've seen this happen many, many times. But yet we we see the possibility of Pacquiao doing this again, again, David versus Goliath. And even those of us who are, call me a fanboy, Pacquiao, whatever you want to say, 
no, I know he's human. I know he can lose. I've seen him lose. But I don't admire Pacquiao just for the heck of it, but because he's a great fighter and he's beaten so many Hall of Famers. I am a big believer in Pacquiao and what he can do, even though it's uh, still uh, what he can do is what most people are, almost every fighter can't do. Nine different weight divisions? I uh, Just to uh, prepare you for this show, I got on the thesaurus and found out some, some uh, words to describe not just the fight, but what Pacquiao beating Triple G? Amazing, astounding, extraordinary, startling, stunning, electrifying, legend. Well, he's already legendary. Staggering, <laughs> astounding, flabbergasting, uh, stupefying. How's that? Okay, I'll throw one more at you. Dumbfounded. I've been following boxing my whole life, but I've seen uh, upsets. I've seen great Hall of Fame fighters, Ali, Frazier, uh, you know, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. I, you know, I've seen all these guys. I would be dumbfounded. I would be shocked if Pacquiao fought him and survived. But to beat Triple G, really? What do you guys think? I want to. I want to know what you guys think. I, I actually watched a, um, uh, and I admire the. Uh, uh, the knowledge of the people in the Mayweather camp, the Mayweather Boxing Club. And uh, Uncle Jeff was interviewing some fighters, and you know I expected them to say, ah, Triple G will destroy him. Half of the guys in the Mayweather camp said, oh, yeah, Pacquiao can beat him. <laughs> really? That says a lot. You know, we all have admired, we, first of all, we've admired Triple G. He's, uh, he's the... The real package. He's a Hall of Famer, and he is a frightening, frightening opponent. He's he's made people pee their pants. I'm sure just looking at him across the ring. But guess what? So is Pacquiao. He's a scary, intimidating guy. And Pacquiao has never walked into the ring afraid of anybody. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I, I remember the um, Keith Thurman fight, and he's still. Can you believe this? Still guy? Is he? He called Pacquiao a punk. Really? Keith, go take your medicine, man. What are you talking about? He, he made you look. He put you on the floor in two minutes. Keith Thurman, go home. We don't want to hear any more from you. But you look at the uh, the uh, uh, face-off right before the start of that fight and look in the eyes of those two fighters. Pacquiao looks like a cold-blooded killer. He's looking at Keith Thurman like, now's your time, boy. You're going to pay for those words. And he paid for those words. <laughs> and Pacquiao... If he gets in the ring with Triple G, he's going to look at him the same way. I'm going to, he, but he won't say it because that's not what Filipinos do. They don't talk the trash. Like Pacquiao said himself, I'll, I, my answer will be given in the ring with my fists. Uh, so who knows what's going to happen? But I, I tell you what, uh, the Mayweather Pacquiao fight was the biggest fight in the history of boxing, even though it was an embarrassing a sham of a fight. It wasn't even a fight. But this, Triple G against Pacquiao, would dwarf that in the excitement, the anticipation. The uh, uh, It would be fantastic. And I really, really would love to see this fight. Who knows how it would end? And I'm not even going to begin to get, you know make a prediction. Uh, uh, but I want to know what you think. You know, I love reading your uh, your comments after the uh, after the shows. I learn a lot, and uh, you know, I get all kinds of comments from you, know, you guys. And half you guys think I'm an idiot, half you guys think I'm a genius. I think it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, but um, I love this uh, potential fight, and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know. That's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. Just want to let you know uh, we are on Facebook. Check it out. We have many more shows to come. Triple G and Manny Pacquiao. Are you kidding? Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.